You guys, okay, so editing Tia here. I just wanted to say welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. So I have been posting um, these things called Tea Talks on my page or on my channel where I'm just pretty much talking about a topic that you guys have given me or something that is near and dear on my heart. And at first I was going to stop them for the month of December since I am vlogging all month long for Vlogmas. But then I was like, you know what? I might as well continue with the series that I've been doing because people love these tea talks and I absolutely love them as well. So I'm going to continue doing them. Um, so I just wanted to pop in and say hello. This is a little segment on my channel that I love and that is very near and dear to my heart. One day it might become a podcast. I have no idea. So um, yeah, I hope you guys understand and are okay with the decision that I've made um, to continue posting my tea talks. Um, and I hope that you enjoy this video. Don't forget, once we hit 500 subscribers, I am doing a giveaway. It's gonna be a mega giveaway and I'm super excited for the brands that I'm gonna partner with um, in order to bring you guys such an amazing giveaway. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys again. Hope you're having a fabulous December. Bye. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia Louise, for those of you that don't know, and if you do know and you're returning, what's poppin'? How are you? So I took to my Instagram and my Facebook the other day and I asked, what were some tea talks topics that you guys have for me? And I got quite a few. Um, so I'm going to start with um, what you guys have asked. And it's one of my friends from Facebook and she listed a couple of different things that she wanted me to talk about, but this first one um, is what I'm going to be talking about today, and it is finding confidence in your own skin. Being plus size or being any size, just being confident with being who you are. So I first wanna start off with saying, being confident looks extremely different from one person to the next, okay? There could be somebody that is walking down the streets with purple hair, blue tights, zebra print dress, and they are super confident, whereas if I were to put any of that on, I'd be ducking and hiding because I don't know that I'd feel the most confident in that. Um, confidence is very much subjective and you have to literally silence all noises, silence all societal um, norms or the status quo, different things of that nature that makes you feel like um, this is what's beautiful and this is what isn't, this is what's normal and this is what isn't, because what is normalcy and what's beauty, right? We get to determine what beauty is and we get to determine what our normal is. So for example, I have not always been the most confident girl in the world. Um, there was a period of my life, a long period of my life, where I was super insecure with myself. I was super insecure with my weight, with my hair, with my skin color, um, with the way that I talked, with my laugh, my personality, which is interesting because it's like, how can you be insecure about a personality? But I just was, I was super insecure with literally everything. You couldn't ask me to pinpoint one thing because I would have just said it all. Um, but it took a lot of me debunking societal norms and beauty standards and literally uh, realizing that any and every time that I am operating through my insecurity, I'm telling God that he didn't do a good enough job when he made me. And when I got that revelation, I was like, whoa, okay, so I have to stop, you know, saying that I'm not pretty enough or I'm not this or I'm not that or because so-and-so is this, then they're better than me and I'm less than and I had to stop comparing myself. This is kind of going back to my saying that I say, you don't compete where you don't compare because we are all so different and so unique and so beautiful in our own ways. We cannot get to a cycle where we are 
comparing and contrasting ourselves one to another you know what I'm saying um, and for me I personally went through the steps of finding scriptures that helped me to relive um, or revive my beauty and revive who I was as a person um, I also had to go through a period where I would speak to myself in the mirror I know that's so corny to like say out loud but it actually worked um, and so I would speak to myself in the mirror and I would tell myself who I was what I was um, and sometimes I would have like sticky notes around my room or my locker when I was in school and different things like that just like uplifting me and giving me you know confident boosts and things like that now I'm at a place where um, not only am I super confident within myself but I'm just super confident within my God and I don't take anything for granted or lightly um, if there is a thing that I feel like I'm insecure about I'll just get rid of it or I'll just fix it or I'll just you know work on it or I'll pray about it or I'll try to figure out okay is it something that I can actually live with or is it something that I can't like for example my skin color okay I have to live with my skin I don't know how to change my skin I'm not gonna change my skin I'm not about to bleach myself but when I break it down and I think about why I was insecure with my skin color it was because people would tell me that I was too dark or I was this or I was that and nobody ever told me hey your skin color is beautiful until my family had to you know start building me up and things like that once they realized okay wait she she's insecure and I had to be vulnerable and honest hey some jokes I can't take some jokes I don't like you know they trigger me or they make me feel a certain type of way and so we don't even do those type of things um, and so you have to know you you have to know yourself I know sometimes we can get with our friends and we can get with our family and you know no joke is off limits but sometimes some jokes are off limits you know and it is okay to say hey I can't handle that or that doesn't help me feel good so can we not do X Y and Z and be confident in that be okay in shutting certain things down because you do not have to struggle in silence and you don't have to struggle alone okay closed mouths don't get fed it's like we don't get things when we don't ask and we also don't prevent people from hurting us you know if we don't help steer them in the right direction to know how to love us or to know how to treat us well so right now I am going to pull up a scriptures that I use personally or that I used to use when I was struggling with say body image self-confidence um, hope helplessness sometimes um, and just different things like that so 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 for God hath not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind now I know you're probably like Tia why is that a confidence boosting you know scripture why would you use that God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind this helps me to realize when my mind is going absolute haywire, going crazy, God did not give me that. God did not give me a crazy mindset. He didn't give me any of those things. What he gave me was a sound mind. Um, he gave me a spirit of power, a spirit of love, and those are the things that I need to be charged with. You know, those are the things that I need to actively walk in. And when I remember that, I can literally cancel out the insecurities I can li literally cancel out the naysayers or I can even cancel out myself you know what I'm saying sometimes we talk nasty and mean to ourselves because we're trying to beat somebody to the punch or we're trying to hurt ourselves before somebody else can hurt us or close us ourselves off before somebody else can do something to us silence all that okay literally God did not give you a spirit of a chaotic mind all right so you need to have a sound mind and silence all the noise another scripture I use Jeremiah 29 11 and we all know and love this for I know the thoughts that I think towards you saith the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end 
Um, this is such a hopeful reminder for me to know that I am exactly where I'm supposed to be, even in the midst of wanting and aspiring to be somewhere else. Um, God has so many beautiful thoughts and plans for each of us. We may not all know what our full purpose or potential will be, um, but I believe that God will place the right people in our lives to help cultivate that and he will all ultimately reveal his truest self and power to us. Um, and because of that, you know, Jeremiah 29 11 is something that I, I read often, especially when I'm feeling, you know, down and out. Um, I think our, the strongest friend or the, the strong friend, we always struggle. Um, and I absolutely don't like that phrase, you know, the idea of being the strong friend. I'm only operating out of strength because I feel like I have to because of survival mode. Um, but I feel like we all, you know, can have that moment of weakness and Jeremiah 29 11 truly like, okay, got it. Once I read that, I'm like, okay, let's do it. You know, whatever is, whatever has to be done has to be done. We got it. And then the last scripture I'm going to leave you guys with is actually the scripture of, of the day in the Bible app, if you have that. And it is Psalm 130 verse five. I will wait for the Lord. My soul doth wait. And in his word, do I hope. And simply put, we shall wait upon the Lord. The Lord is going to restore our hope. The Lord is able to restore your self-esteem. The Lord is able to restore your peace, your joy, your everything, okay? So literally cast your cares upon God. If there is an insecurity that you have, literally take that to your father. Like he is your father. He wants to cultivate and help care for whatever it is that you are struggling with, whatever you're going through. My biggest prayer when I was really struggling with the insecurity of my hair was, Lord, I want you to grow my hair. I want to feel like feel like a beautiful woman, you know, within my own skin. I don't want to have to add weave to my head, you know, for me to feel beautiful. I don't want to have to add extensions to my head or braids, you know, to feel confident, you know, because there was a point in time where legit I would change. I would get my weave and I would get my braids and I would just, yeah, I'm that girl. Uh-huh, for sure, yeah. And it was like OD because I was, you know, overcompensating because I didn't actually feel like I was that girl. But because I didn't want you to tell me I wasn't that girl, I was gonna do the absolute most. And it's, just, it's, it's tiring, okay? And so I went to God and I'm like, Lord, please bless my hair. And I would pray over my hair. And my mom, whenever she would do my hair, she would pray over my hair and pray over the oils that we put in my hair. Slowly but surely, consistently, my hair started growing like crazy, right? And I, my hair had gotten to a place that it had not been in a long time. And I was just so shocked and so thankful because God truly does care about the little things. It's just hair, you know? And now I wear weave for protection of my hair instead of to hide my hair, right? What, what a difference confidence will make. What a difference God will make. And my confidence isn't in myself, it's in my father. It's knowing that he has my best interest at heart and he is the one that's ultimately working everything out for my good, for my bad, for the ugly, for the in-between. You know what I'm saying? Like God truly is working everything out for me and for you. So, you know, one of my tips for you to literally take all your insecurities to God and be like, here, here Lord, I offer this up to you. I don't want it anymore. I want you to help me to gain confidence and to gain, you know, a new sense of appreciation. I appreciate my hair now. I love my skin color now. I love the fact that there is a dark skinned young girl or woman that's older than me or somebody, my peer, you know, that has struggled all their lives with thinking that they were too dark or too this or too big or too small or too tall or too wide or too short or whatever the case may be. And because of my page, because of my inspiration, because of whatever, my confidence, my relationship with God, my light, they are able to say, you know what, if she can do it, I can do it too. And this is ultimately the goal. We are all to be ambassadors of Christ and disciples of the Lord. And we are also supposed to help one another, you know? So 
I hope this video was encouraging for someone. I hope this video was helpful for someone. Please send it to a friend and tell a friend to tell a friend. We are on the road to 500 subscribers and once I hit 500 subscribers, I'm doing a giveaway. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Please remember to stay bright, shine your light, and always have confidence in Jesus Christ. I love you guys. Bye. I just want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a happy 